What's good, everybody? I appreciate you watching my channel, looking at my videos, but be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to the channel. Let's get it. Same energy, not when your friends turn into memes. We'll never throw dirt on your name for real. Pray to God I don't let the anger build. Why you gotta hit me with the change up? Talking Randy Johnson with the change all right, Jamal, so one thing I've always wanted to talk to you about is Seattle basketball. Mm -hmm. And I know that's a big thing in your life. Can you talk about Seattle basketball, the style, and everything about it? Yeah, I just think, uh, you know, it's a culture. You know, I think uh, what separates us is we all root for each other. We all stick together. It's not the crabs in the bucket mentality, so we're all trying to help each other and help the next generation. And I feel like uh, that's so important. You know, it affects so many different people and, and – for us to be reachable and in the community doing what we're doing, I think it gives hope. You know, one thing that you're always known for is the crossovers, the handles, and being a scorer. But one thing I've always looked at your career, the leadership. Mm -hmm. It seems like a lot of the younger players come to you for guidance and things of that nature. Can you talk about that? And You're on a younger team now, obviously. Yeah, Can you talk sure. about how important that is now? Yeah, it's very important. I think it's coming in handy now for sure. But uh, I've always tried to take a leadership role, whether it's me in high school, college, no matter how young or old. I don't think... Uh, there's like an age limit on maturity and just some of the knowledge I've uh, obtained over the years, you know, as far as trying to pass it on. I think that's what it's really about. All right. Speaking of the crossover, you know, I don't know what you do. You have, I, know, I know it sounds crazy to ask things. You probably don't, but what do you call it? Because it's like a little in and out between. Like you, well, nah, do you have a name it, for it? Do you? Nah, what's don't. the craziest name you heard for it? I haven't, honestly. It's just my handles, period. <laughs> really, I, I haven't heard. The one specific move I heard was Mike Breen. He named the Dope behind the back to shake and make. Other than that, I haven't really heard anything. All right, last question. So you've seen the other rookie over there, Luka Doncic, mm -hmm. and let's just talk about the overseas impact. And you probably watched him on him prior to all that. But can you talk about his game and what you've seen from him? Yeah, he's he's got a nice game, nice flow, uh, confident, very confident. Uh, you know, I think they're putting him in a position as well where they give him freedom to play, and he doesn't have to think and second guess himself. You know, he's out there, he's making plays. Uh, and each each month, each week, he's gotten better and better, you know. And now a lot of people are catching on, obviously. Uh, so for him, I think he'll continue to grow. He'll want more of that, and they'll want more from him. So I think it's a great situation for him. All right, Adidas, Yeezy. <laughs> Do you get asked for Yeezys all the time? Uh, not no more. Not no more. Nah, not no more. <laughs> all right, so you were you were in Adidas now. Have you tried on the James Harden Adidas? Or have you tried on different ones? Yeah, I've tried you? almost all of them. Uh, my think? favorite is the Danes. Okay. I feel like the way they fit my foot, but no, nah, James got some nice shoes, obviously. Um, Dames are the ones I like a lot, and right now I'm wearing the old ones I've had for three years. So, but now nah, there's so many good Adidas shoes out there. I appreciate it. For sure.